take a question for Griffin Merritt. Griffin. And obviously, big, big day to play with a couple of two run home runs, three overall today. Kind of what were you seeing out there? Yeah, I think we just had a good scouting report um, from Coach E and the rest of our uh, our coaching staff on the hitting side. And just that anytime you go up and hit with a good plan, you just execute. And, you know, you have good days, and some days you don't have good days. We do the same thing. But, you know, today I just executed and stuck to my approach. Just walk me through those two homers there in the second game. Just kind of what you see on those pitches. Yeah, um, the one to center field, I <laughs> was a little frustrated with the, the strike two call from uh, on that uh, at bat. And, and I kind of had a reset. and you know, battle with two strikes and he just left a fastball over the plate and was able to stay through it. And then a little bit on the opposite of the second, I bet I was in a 2-0 count, knew the guy's probably going to come heater. So um, just, you know, try to get a good swing off on it and caught it deep and took it out to right. Griffin, obviously a frustrating loss Tuesday night. How do you think the team responded after that this weekend? I think it was pretty good. You know, come out Friday and, uh, you know, Moorhead State's a good team and, you know, you kind of thump them. And, you know, it can be scary sometimes because, you get a little complacent or you know you get a little too high um, when you when you beat a team up on Friday and that's a good baseball team over there in another dugout but we came out today and you know realized that we still had to put together a good game in order to win and whenever you get a double header under your belt it's you know it's a different thing it's two baseball games but in the same day it's different so i think that's something we can stick in our back pocket that might come up later in the year was it harder for you to kind of stay focused throughout two games today yeah, uh, when I was, you know, 19, probably, I'd probably be looking in the stands and messing around. But, you know, at this point, um, I, I'm to the point where I can value every at-bat. I think that's a, a very big thing, uh, maturing as a hitter, to understand that, you know, throughout a season, you might get, you know, good players like 250 at-bats. And if you start throwing away, you know, those at-bats because you're not focused, you look back at the end of the year and you're like, man, I, I threw away 50 at-bats. And imagine if I was locked in for those. So I think uh, with this coaching staff and, you know, everything here, it, you can't not be locked in. So um, it was a long day and, you know, it wears on you, but, you know, we played well. Griffin, I know you were pretty dead set on going to dental school after last season. Have you had a moment within this last month where you kind of had a reality check and, and we're super thankful you decided to keep playing baseball? Yeah, I think I had a reality check when I got on campus August 15th um, and was super happy to be here. Um, it's been nothing short of, you know, great and, um, yeah, I do have dreams and you know aspirations outside of baseball, but I'll get to those at some point. Griffin Cavara's tears, getting to start all three games this weekend. What did you see from him up to this point in the season and this weekend? Just proud of him, man. Proud. That is all I can say. I was just talking to his family outside. That's a kid that's a fantastic teammate. You know, works his tail off every day. Doesn't complain. Doesn't you know he's on the bench and I mean, you guys saw what he can do. The guy can hit. Can really hit. And, you know. I can say from experience, it's tough when you can hit and you're on the bench and you know you can be out there helping your team. But, you know, there was never a complaint, never a bad attitude, nothing. You know, that's a kid mature beyond his years. And everything that he had this weekend was so deserving. And he's going to have a lot more down the road. I'm proud of him. Seems like every time Dryling touches the ball, it's just a rocket off of his yeah. bat. What have you seen from him lately? Yeah, the kid's a natural hitter. You know, some some people get a little gift from God and they just get the ability to hit, especially in big moments. And uh, Dylan's a, a good player already and he's going to be really good down the road um, for this program. But just proud of him too, you know. You step up there as a freshman and sometimes things speed up a little bit. And um, I kind of have been able to take him under my wing a little bit. I think that he's understanding that if you have a plan, you know, things don't speed up, right? When you, when you get in the box and it gets loud or you need a big hit, it's like, okay, what am I trying to do? And I think he understands that. And that's, that's pretty good for a kid who's, what he that's 25 at bats. Got time in left field this weekend. Are you more comfortable over there? Yeah, corner outfield is corner outfield. I played majority of my games when I was at Cincinnati in left field. So a little more comfortable with some of the, you know, relays and, you know, things like that of, you know, where people are going to be at behind me. But it, it doesn't matter much um, to me, honestly, left or right. I wish I was a little faster and I could, you know, help out in center field. But uh, if I'm in center, I think the balls might be in trouble. So. <laughs> Anything else? I think for him.